Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together they are the DIY Costume Squad. Yo guys, what's up? I'm Ben, and today we are going to be making a Mega Man suit. It's going to be the classic retro Mega Man suit from the early video games, the ones that I'm familiar with, and it's going to be made with DIY techniques and household stuff and other materials you can get for the cheap. So here we go! All right, so like I said, this is the classic Mega Man design, and it actually took him a couple tries to get to this one. If we look, a Mega Man 1, we're not going to do, because obviously, who wants to walk around dressed up like that? Mega Man 2 is getting there, but he has a gun for some reason. So it wasn't really until Mega Man 3 that they have the design that looks similar to the Mega Man we all know and love. Thinking first thing is going to be a base, which are going to be some clothes, pretty simple, um, maybe some undies or something. He does have big arm gauntlets and huge leg pieces, so I'll probably use some Tupperware or something like that. Uh, the helmet, he's got these two side pieces that light up, maybe get some LED lights for those. And then of course there's the blaster, which is a very specific shape, hoping we can figure that out. And I want to make it light up. I think putting lights on it just makes it look so much cooler. So first thing we got to do is do the base clothes. So I did some shopping, Let's see what we got here. First off, of course, the gloves. And these guys were only $2. I couldn't find uh, blue gloves, so I'm gonna end up spray painting these blue. Here we go, I got all this stuff at like discount clothing stores. Let's see here, base shirt, light blue, and it's $1.99. So these are actually lady pants. These are four bucks. They tend to work better for costumes, so don't be afraid to go check out the lady section. Couldn't find any shorts, but I found these dark blue pants. These are four bucks. So the only real modifications we have to do to the clothes is to cut the legs off of these pants to make shorts. You could also use sweatpants. I just didn't happen to find any that were blue. So we're gonna do a more simplified hem technique, which is just using hot glue. Hot glue works really good on fabric. All right, I'm gonna try them on. Ooh, perfect. I feel like I should be in a montage right now. So that's it for the clothes other than the gloves. We're gonna spray paint those. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a uh, gray primer first. This was like actually about three bucks and then a blue spray paint, which was about five. I'm gonna use the primer first just to help this material soak up some of the paint and then it'll take the blue color a lot easier. All right, gloves are done. So now it's time to move on to the rest of the body pieces, which are very big and very bulky and very cartoony. So a couple options here, not sure which ones I'm gonna use, but got some garbage cans. These were $6. Some other pieces here, which I might use for the legs. These were $2 a piece, I got two of them. Okay, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna start with the feet. Thinking about using some serving bowls. Uh, these I got at the 99 cent store. So before I do anything, I need to cut a hole in the top of this so I can fit my foots into it. And for that, I'm gonna use a rotary tool. Mmm, plasticky. I think before I go any further, I should just reinforce these with some tape. Got my one foot done, and now I'm going to trace it onto the other ball. I have the feet here uh, ready to go. They kind of have like a pointy shape, but I'm thinking I can probably cheat that if I add something to the toes of these. I've got actually, excuse me, Ant-Man. Yeah, this is good. Got all kinds of random stuff in here. So it's sort of got that angle to it right there. So if I cut that up, attach it to the front, boom. Now that I have the shape of the foot, the toe piece figured out, I'm attaching them with hot glue and tape. On the bottom, I'm going to use some elastic. I'm gonna attach it to the inside of the bowls so that they'll stay on my feet. A brand new, these are probably like two or three bucks a roll. I'm gonna hold off on spray painting them because I wanna make all the pieces. Moving on to the legs. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna hold on to these actually a little big. We'll see. Might use those for the helmet. Leg pieces go up to just over his knees. That might be pretty good. All right, here we go. So now that I have it cut, I can draw the shapes on the top and the bottom of the leg piece. Now, 
I've been using a rotary tool to cut all of this plastic stuff out, but you could totally use a box cutter or some scissors. And then of course you can get sandpaper to help uh, smooth out the edges and everything. But... Okay, we got Mega Man feet, we got Mega Man legs, and these are ready to paint, but I'm gonna hold off on that until I do the arms, which are pretty simple. Gonna go with these guys. Ready for paint. All right, it's helmet time and I have a few different options I'm gonna play around with, so let's check them out. I know I had mentioned before I was gonna play around with these lids. <laughs> That's a really good shape there. I don't know, I don't know if I want these. I think I might use this though. So I'm not sure if these are the best option now that I look at them. So I'm gonna take a look at some of the helmets I have. We got football, baseball, we got some skate helmets. This is like a motorcycle helmet. This was actually 10 bucks at the thrift store. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And I think I'm gonna use this piece here for the widow's peak in the front. So really all I gotta do is take this off and attach it to the front here. Cool, I think I'm gonna do that. this whole thing comes out. Great. That's it? That's all that's protecting you from the road? I'm gonna take the straps off. So to attach this to the lip of the helmet, I'm gonna use super glue. I'm gonna use two different kinds. I'm gonna use regular liquid super glue, and then there's a couple of spaces where the cutting wasn't exact, and I'm gonna fill that in with gel super glue, and then when it hards, I can sand it to make a nice smooth edge. You could also use epoxy, plastic epoxy, but that takes like 24 hours to dry. So got the gluing and sanding stuff done. I got the base of the helmet looking really good, and I think it's now time to figure out the side pieces. And I know that they light up, so I got some LEDs. Kind of pair them up with the right shape. I have a few different shapes here. All of this stuff was 99 cent store. Pack of three, 99 cents. Pack of four, 99 cents. Kind of like this one. I have to trim that to like right there, probably. For the red part of the lights, we're gonna be using index dividers. I got this pack at the 99 cent store. Gonna cut little holes out and put them on the inside of my side pieces. Right now I'm just finding the position for the side pieces so that I can glue the base plates on to the helmet. Now it's time for the mohawk. He's got kind of like a mohawk thing and then a square right on the front. And so I found some knee pads. These are garden knee pads. They're made out of EVA foam. Uh, they're very thick and they're very flexible. So we're gonna cut these up and do the top pieces. This has a texture on it, so I'm gonna sand that texture off. Helmet is ready to get painted. Now the uh, helmet's gonna be dark blue, side pieces are gonna be light blue, and then I have my foam pieces temporarily attached here so I can paint them light blue while they're curved. I have a lighter blue, kind of a baby blue. This is about four bucks too. So dark blue. Helmet is all painted and these pieces are now gonna go onto the blue official helmet. So here we have all of the Mega Man pieces. Now I could stop here and have a pretty sweet costume, but I want to take it one step further and do the blaster. I just so happened to find this perfectly shaped pitcher. It was like, I was so happy I was dancing in the store. And this thing was only five bucks. There is the cannon on the end, which I'm gonna kind of modify. Essentially, I'm gonna have to take the spout off and cut a hole in the bottom so I can put my arm through it. <laughs> For the red element on the inside of the blaster, I'm gonna cut the bottom of this cup off. Using some cardboard to create a spacer um, to hold the red element in place. So the next bit that I'm gonna cut out of this is the side. There's like a yellow light panel. 
For the lights on the inside, I found these kind of knockoff lightsabers uh, at the 99 cent store. On the inside, they are just wires with LEDs on them. So I have red ones for the cannon and then a yellow one for the uh, sidebar. I'm just gonna mask off the cannon on the end here so I don't paint over the red, and then hit it with blue. That's so awesome. It's like a cartoon come to life. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, time to put all this stuff on. <laughs> yeah, that's Mega Man. Okay, last your time. <clears throat> This is looking pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna go show it off to the rest of the squad. All right, are we ready to check out the completed Mega Man costume? Yep, let's see it. Can't wait, let's <laughs> see. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right, looking good. Whoa, whoa, watch me pointing that thing. Whoa. <laughs> we have lights. Sides light up too. Whoa. Oh, cool. So cool, I, cool. I won't get hit by any bikes. <laughs> yeah, safety first. You wear this jogging, right? Like yeah. that's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got some nice tap lights. The tap action. lights on the side yep. too. Uh, my favorite part is the shorts. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. It's looking real I think real those sexy. are everyone's favorite part. I like that it still has belt buckles. Too, yeah. So well, you case, might need to wear a belt. How much did you end up spending on this whole thing? Total is about sixty bucks uh, for the whole thing, including spray paint. And then if you wanted to just build the blaster, that was nine dollars. The helmet was like about fifteen. Nice. So. Alright, so let us know in the comments what costumes and characters you want the costume squad to tackle. And stay tuned because Dustin's up next. Yep, I am. I don't know what it's going to be yet. You have All to stay right. tuned. Well, then you're going to have to subscribe. Yeah, costume, costume squad, squad out. Go. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>